I'm Luton, and I'm going to teach you lock picking today. Let's go over preparedness and tools real quick. First and foremost, you need to have your fame real high here on the island before you start lock picking. You need to make sure that you're healthy, full stomach, hydrated, minerals good, vitamins good, and slamming a few handfuls of sugar always helps the dexterity. Then you need to get the tools of the trade. Screwdrivers and lock picks, of course. It's going to take a bunch. There are three different types of lock picks on the island. I got some bags here with the different types of lock picks. Alright, so this first bag here, it has the lock picks you can make. You can make these from safety pins, metal needles, and bobby pins. They're great because they're agile and you can usually find a box of bobby pins. So just take them all out of the box and then craft them in bundles. It'll save you time when trying to break in. The con of these is how weak they are and you only get a one of one use. I've only been able to get into a Rusty's and maybe a Silver with them. The second bag here, it has the regular lock picks in it. You get a four out of four use. These are the best overall to me. They're agile and have decent strength. This third bag here, it's got the advanced lock picks in it. You get a six out of six use. They seem clumsy in the hand, but they are the strongest. I'm going to demonstrate first with the crafting lock picks and then the advanced next, but then use the standard to bust through the locks. So I've set up these doors here with three stages of locks. The first door here has rusty, second has silvers, and third has golds. I'll start here on the rusties with the improvised lock pick. So I usually walk up to the door. First thing you want to do though is take your gloves off. People say that they don't think you need to do that, but this game has a whole metabolism system, dexterity, all that stuff. I think, I don't know, it might be a placebo effect, but I believe it. So, press F to engage. Make sure you have lock picks and screwdrivers on you. It's good maybe to eat a handful or two of sugar, get your sugar level real high. It also helps with your dexterity. If you don't believe me, do this without sugar and with it. See what happens. All right, so we'll press F. Little mini game comes up. So it's a mouse move, move lock pick. So you want to move the mouse left to right. At first, it's a very swooping motion to swing the lock pick around to find the sweet spot. But once you start picking the lock, it starts refining. We'll get into that. Press F to push the screwdriver. So listen to how I press the F key. Like this is how I'm going to be pressing it. Like fast. Because you're going to be turning the screwdriver. Every time I push it, the screwdriver, a little bit of pressure is applied. You'll see. Press spacebar to start, press escape to exit. I mean, that's just what it says. You can always press escape too, and you won't even burn a lockpick. So, I got the improvised lockpicks on me, screwdrivers, got my gloves off. One last thing I'll change is my mouse can increase the DPI or lower it. I'll increase my DPI on Rusty's and then maybe lower it on Silver's, depends. But, uh, definitely lower it on golds just because there's a gap that you're trying to fit the lock pick in and it's bigger on rusties and smaller on silvers and even smaller on golds well if your dpi is lower you can hit that spot easier um on golds if it's lower so here we go with the rusties press f hit the space bar to start and we'll start swinging it left to right so from 10 to Two, I'll go again. So from like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is where you want to concentrate on moving a lock pick. I'll show you one more time. So see right there on the side is where it was. It's like right in that little sweet spot is usually the area. See right there again. Ooh, that was close. So now if I would have moved the mouse left or right, let go of the F key and then move the mouse left or right and then hit the F key again, it probably would have unlocked depending if I moved it left or right the correct way. Ah.
but see how I moved it one way and it opened further? I moved it a little to the left. So close. That was a little outside the zone that I usually see it. But see how weak the bobby pins are, or the improvised ones are? You you can't put much pressure on it with the F key or it'll break it. Failure. Alright, I'll grab the advanced ones to demonstrate those now. So same concept, go up, press F. You'll see how these are a little more bulkier, but stronger. They're just a little stronger. You can hit the F key a little more times with these, but they just seem like they take a little further of a mouse swing. But you get more tries, so higher success rate, I guess. All right, let's get this next one. See how I moved it a little to the right and it fell further? And don't even pay attention to the time. It doesn't matter at all. You have enough time to do it, to mess up and keep going. You don't have to hit it right every time. Let's see how I moved it a little to the right, went a little further. See, moved it a little bit, went to the next one. As we are, too. Alright, on to these silvers. Same concept, here we go. Silver is a little harder. I'll keep my DPI high, see what happens. Move it down if not getting anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to move it down just one click. See how it moves a little slower, but I can get a little more action now. It just takes patience. Now you see why you need a lot of lock picks and fame points. Every time I do this, I burn one fame point. Sometimes your computer hates you and freezes up in the middle of it. See, just move it over and just keep trying. All right, let's go to this next one. Oh, come on. That would have been awesome. Ah, and sometimes your computer does that again.
narrow it in. I'm gonna grab the regular lock picks now to demonstrate on the gold there. That's how we do it here. Alright, let me bust up in this joint too. So, so the infamous gold. These things are impossible sometimes it seems like, but just endeavor and persevere. So, same strategy. This uh, lockpick is a little more agile than the last, a little stronger than the first. See how it goes. I try to move my mouse a little slower. This is what I was saying about like slowing down the DPI of your mouse because then when you scan the area, it's actually a little slower. You'll see. Let's see. Ah. But see, you can move it just a little slower so you, you won't bypass a gap on the rusty and silver. The gap's bigger so you can kind of go wild with it. And then if you use the advanced lock pick uh, plus slowing down your DPI, you have to move your mouse so far. So that's why I like these two as well. Boom. See how I just walked it over? All right, one more. Boom. There it is. See? Just walk it on over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Like, Luton, your fame doesn't really match up there at the end, and it was like a transition. Well, yeah, Luton tried to play a little movie magic with you. A little snip-snap on the film editing. Well, you caught me. So here, I'll throw in a little bonus tip. I'll show you some footage of what happens if you put those lock protectors on the door and you're not paying attention. See you on the island, inmate. Sometimes you go through dry spells where you can't hit anything. <laughs> Boom. See? You just got to keep messing with it. First one down. Oh, wow. Oh, those shock things added up, huh? Oh, no, I'm about to die. Well, this concludes our loot and lesson on breaking those locks to get into your enemy's bases. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please come visit again for more tips and tricks on base breaking by looting. See you around the island.